So one of the things I wish someone told me when I first started blogging, started my niche site, whatever the kids are calling it these days, was just how difficult the journey would be. Now don't get me wrong, every person's blogging journey is gonna be very, very different from one another, but having spoken to quite a few bloggers now, thanks to this YouTube channel, there are a couple of universal things that bloggers go through. In the video today, then I'm gonna break down the top five stages, potentially of grief, that bloggers will go through on their journey. So let's jump into it. The excitement stage. So being the first point, this stage happens right at the start of a blogger's journey. You've just discovered the wonderful world of niche website slash blogs through YouTube, through doing your own research. Hey, you might have even watched a scammy ad that promises you £10,000 a month with only 30 posts on your website. Good luck with that if that was you, because that ain't happening. Essentially then this stage is where you have a lot of motivation and desire to start your website, but very little knowledge on what a website actually is. At this stage then you're likely researching a lot of information all around blogging here on YouTube and hopefully you're subscribing to my YouTube channel if that is the case. Or you're purchasing courses to help teach you how to blog such as Income Schools Project 24 which is basically the course that I use and it's what I recommend. Affiliate link in the description box if you are interested. At this stage then you choose your niche, you initially set up your website and more than anything else you're going to be focused on writing the content yourself. In fact I found that in the first couple of months so at this stage I tended to write around about 50 to 60 posts basically so you literally hands all glued to the keyboard and you're just typing like a madman at the moment. The nothing is happening stage. So I'm going to say that this stage usually lasts around about month four to month eight slash one year if you're a little bit unlucky. Excitement dies. So at this stage the effort's there, the knowledge of your niche is increasing dramatically, you're writing a lot of content, maybe you're averaging 10 brand new posts per month that you're writing yourself. So all that stuff, all, all that hard work is going into it, but the results aren't coming just yet. Now, sadly, this stage also ties in with Google's own ghost town phase, whereby they don't trust the brand new website for a couple of months before indexing their content. As such, it's literally gonna be a case of just putting in a ton of work and not getting any results, basically. You said passive income was passive. Idiots. Shiny object syndrome. Shiny, shiny. Not gonna lie, this is something your boy still kind of struggles with from time to time. And naturally, as a result of the nothing happening stage, the shiny object syndrome will be real at this point. And this is usually gonna be around that eight months to one year mark. You feel as though, you know, you've dedicated a year to this website and it's still not technically taking off after all the effort you put in. So you start creeping, you start looking elsewhere at a couple of other ways to make a little bit of money online. Now, typical behaviors that people do at this stage are things like buying multiple different blogging courses, thinking that they have the answer, starting a second or a third website, looking at other side hustles, whether it's Amazon FBA, drop shipping, OnlyFans, don't do that, that's disgusting. Why? I've made this mistake myself with my first website and is where I basically moved over and started my second website. Thankfully, it did kind of take off for myself, but what I would recommend is if I doubled down on my initial website, that would probably be a little bit further along. In my opinion then, at this stage, the shiny object syndrome, at this stage, this is basically where most bloggers tend to fall off with their websites. The double down stage. Now, thankfully, if you're able to make it through the shiny object syndrome, you'll be rewarded with real learnings built up in the double down stage. You'll actually start noticing some of the mistakes that you made earlier on in your blogging journey. And you'll actually start getting better at some of the things that are vital to the success in blogging, whether it's keyword research, writing posts, all those kinds of things. And you'll actually get to the point whereby you look back at earlier posts that you'd written, earlier keyword research that you'd done and think, why the hell did I write this post? It's never gonna rank, not a chance in hell. You'll basically start figuring out what works and what doesn't work and hopefully you'll get a new lease of life into your blog. Do a fresh batch of content, fresh batch of keyword research just to really double down on this brand new effort. The early results stage. Finally, the results start coming in. This tends to happen then at a year to a year and a half in your blogging journey. Your traffic starts to gradually increase month on month and you may even get lucky enough to have a hockey stick level of growth. You start seeing your posts rank on Google when you search for random search terms and most importantly you actually start to earn a little bit of an income every single month that you can reinvest then back into your business. Now, in terms of earnings, it won't be that much. It might only be around about 30 to $50 at this particular stage, but it's a start. Pages will probably be looking at anywhere between five to 10,000, but as a wise one once said, if a website can get to 10,000 page views, it will get to 100,000 page views with enough work. Reassess and regurgitate. Don't know why I said the word regurgitate. That's literally the first thing that came in mind. And now you've got a mental image of me hurling keywords at you, I don't know. It's 
gonna stop there with that analogy. So this is a stage that yours truly basically thinks he's at at this moment in time. I'm basically consistently uploading brand new content on my website just to help improve the rankings and hopefully continue growing the number of pages this website is getting month on month, as well as doubling down and looking into my posts that are already ranking and seeing what I can do to actually boost their rankings. Basically battleshipping the content. This is gonna go on for the next couple of years or so, hopefully until the website gets to around about that 50 to 100,000 page views per month. So we got a long road to get here, but hopefully it'll continue. Now I still consider myself very much a beginner when it comes to the world of blogging and niche websites and all those different kinds of things. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm some sort of super massive professional that can help with everything, but that's the amount of effort that it took to even get to this stage. As you can tell, not a quick journey by any stretch of the imagination. And the only real way I see you having a blog that's you know, massively successful in your first year, maybe hitting that 50 to 100,000 page views per year is either one, you're ridiculously lucky with your keyword research, or number two, you've got a large amount of money to invest in your blog in the first instance, get the best keyword research out there possible, get the best number of posts written, and just basically have a huge impact as soon as you get going. Blogging family. So hopefully you enjoyed this video today. Let me know what stage you're basically at on the back of that video, and if there's any stage that you think I missed out. As always though, if you're interested in more videos around blogging, personal development, side hustles, any of those kinds of things, absolutely smash the like and subscribe button as it really, really does help out the channel. And until the next one, I'll leave you to it. All the best for now.